My name's Alex Wolford and I'm a Solutions Engineer for Streamsets and today I'd like to give you a quick introduction to user management in Control Hub with LDAP and SAML. I'm going to be using Red Hat's free IPA as an LDAP provider. You could equally be using Active Directory, so these technologies are somewhat interchangeable. I've created a user called Miles, he's my 12 year old boy, and uh, we're going to log in using his account. So miles at wolford.io, I'm going to use his password and let's sign in. Okay, very good, he was able to sign in. So now I'm going to sign out and I'm going to disable his account. Actions, disable. So now we've disabled his account in LDAP and now when we log in, we should get an access denied. Miles. So you can see that the permissions are being controlled by LDAP. I'm going to re-enable his account. If we take a look at Miles' account here, he's a member of the IoT Users Group. And I'm going to log in as an administrator through an incognito tab. And this is going to allow us to have um, two users logged in at once. And so we can change permissions as one user and see those changes as the other user. So right now, I'm logged in as me. I'm an administrator. You can see that the administration menu is available here. If I click on Miles' account, you can see that he is a member of this group, the IoT Users Group. If I go over to the Groups tab here, I can see that we have an IoT Users Group which maps to the IoT users in LDAP. It's better to assign permissions to groups and then assign groups to users than it is to assign permissions directly. So that's what I've done here. Now if I log in as Miles, we can see um, that he can access Control Hub but he does not have the admin menu and this is because the IoT users account doesn't have that role. You'll also notice that Miles can see one pipeline here, but there are actually two pipelines in this control hub. And the reason for that is this pipeline here has been shared with him. So if we click on the checkbox here and go to the sharing button, I can see that this pipeline has been shared with the IoT users. They have read-only access. If I wanted to share the other pipeline with IoT users, I can click on this uh, checkbox, go to the sharing tab, and then I can assign permissions to that group. Add, and then I can say, this group has read-only permissions. And now if we switch back to Miles' account, and I refresh this list, we can see that he now has visibility to two pipelines. He's unable to edit these. In addition to LDAP, we also integrate with SAML, the Security Assertion Markup Language. And so this allows us to have single sign-on with various identity providers, such as Ping Identity, Google, Okta, etc. So I have a Control Hub instance that's set up with SAML here, and I'm going to log in. These are actually my Google credentials. So if I hit Continue, you'll notice that it redirects me to Google and then um, authenticates against Google, and now I'm able to access Control Hub via Google. I created a short video that shows how to set up Google SAML, and it's in the notes of this video in case you're interested to see how this works in practice. In this video, we took a quick look at how Control Hub integrates with LDAP and SAML, and how to manage users and groups. For further information, here are some community resources. We have a Stack Overflow style wiki called ask.streamsets.com. We've got a Slack channel, a Google group, and a ton of great documentation online. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.